this is my review of the ANK Dragunov SVD airsoft rifle. You can buy these for about £110, or anywhere from £110 up to, I don't know, say £150, depends on what version you're getting. This is the older spec, I know ANK make a newer one and that costs a little bit more, but it is worth it in the end, I suppose. I'm getting onto the rifle, it has a plastic stock at the back and the plastic foregrip. You all notice I have added a camouflage tape to it. If you buy this rifle it won't come with the camouflage tape, this is something I've added myself. It also comes with a cheek rest as you can see here, it's a fairly good cheek rest, you know it'll get the job done. And you also have a, like a sling pole at the back just for attaching all your slings and whatever. The plastic on the stock is fairly good. Uh, over time it will loosen up and the stock will begin to wobble but you know you just put a dollop of glue in there and that fixes that. Okay the receiver is made from some sort of die cast metal. It's not pot metal so that's good. It is fairly rigid and sturdy. It is good quality for what you're paying for because there's plenty of guns out there in this price range that use pot metal and it breaks. But this has stood up to the test of time, I've had this for about 3 or 4 years now, not a single thing wrong with it. Now you can see on the receiver you've got all your basic controls and functions. You have this lever here which removes the top cover, I'll show you how to use everything in a minute. You have your selector switch, your magazine release, your trigger, and there's a small pin there which allows you to remove the entire trigger group for disassembly and cleaning. Alright, this rifle comes with a plastic, unfortunately, 150 round high capacity magazine. Now, I haven't got a clue what they were thinking when they decided to design this, because if you're using this for the sniper's role, then, you know, you want to be as quiet as possible, and running through the woods with a plastic magazine full of 150 BBs is not exactly the most elegant or quiet way to, you know, get yourself around, so could get you spotted this, actually. And this is a Springer rifle, if you didn't already know. It does seem to have some sort of upgraded piston and cylinder, which is fairly good, because um, this rifle's kicking out at about stock when you get it, at least 500 feet per second. Now, that obviously wears with time, and mine's unfortunately probably clocked down to 390 feet per second now, after some hard wear and tear. Right, moving on. Sorry for the camera shake, but... Um, here you've got the fairly long foregrip with the other camouflage tape. Made from the same plastic as the stock, but I did have some really bad problems with this wobbling and being loose. I'm not sure if that's just poor A and K quality control because they are a Chinese company. And you know I've got nothing against them, but the quality control is utter garbage. That's something you can't say about them. But yeah, the um front foregrip here is really long, it's comfortable to hold, it gives you good grip, it's not slippy or nothing like that. And overall it's just a good foregrip. Okay we're moving on to the barrel now. You have a very long barrel with the fairly long flash adder. Here you've got your fake gas ports on there on the top and underneath that you have a as you see a swivel sling mount thing whatever you want to call it. You know it'll get the job done. You've got your front sight here and your flash adder. You know, it looks fairly good, pretty realistic. I just want to move on to the sights. The sights on this are, let's just say, the basic at the very least. You know, um, you know, I'll actually cut to a shot of what the sight picture's like just to show you how basic they actually are. Right, okay, I'm not going to lie, but the angle I'm doing this now, well, the word awkward doesn't really describe it. But well, hopefully you can see that the sight picture is, like I said, really, really basic. You know, let's try and get another position in for you. If you can see, it is just crude to say the very least. Luckily though, this rifle does come with a scope mount which you can fit. Apparently, the AK-47 style scope mounts and you just buy an original PSO-1 style scope don't buy a replica because they're more expensive than the original thing I'm just going to go through some of the basic functions of this rifle now first off we have the safety here 
pushing this down it allows you to pull back the bolt and pull the trigger of course as the safety is engaged you cannot pull back the bolt or press the trigger you also have this lever here which I said if you remember will remove the top cover good thing about this rifle is it can use standard AEG springs so an M110, 20, 30, 40 you can whack in here I've just got a weak spring in here for now just while it's on display I'm not currently using this but um, like I said upgraded cylinder and piston and all stuff like that it's got a really good hop up and um, it's actually stripped this like it's just like the real thing well the only thing that's not like the real thing you don't do two screws here and everything else is easy from there on you just pull this entire assembly out and then you just go from there now to put this back on all you simply do is slide in the notches at the top whack it down make sure this is over here and push back up to get it fairly solid quick and last but not least you have your magazine release here it drops out easy like that but um, something you want to might want to take note of is to put the magazine in put the front lip in first and then you rock it back ever so slightly then you know you should be a positive click it won't go nowhere it might rattle a bit but yeah that's it that's just pretty much my review of the airsoft uh, ANK Dragon on SVD see it shoulders very well uh, thanks for watching